And hello and welcome back. We have tons of awesome fish turning up today, possibly even fire eels, but we have like a couple of hundred better fish. They're all gonna go in that system. There's only a few left from last time. So today is the day for all the new better fish. Um, there will be some awesome, awesome fish like fire eels potentially. Hopefully they will turn up today. Um, there is Senegal birch shirts. There's some really nice Corydoras, like gold laser Corys, uh, more Barbados. Oh God, they're nice. I need to take some more of those home. Um, and countless, countless other things. So let's get started and go to unboxing some fishes, which will be here in a second. Magic fishes have arrived. Yay, lots of things. So we are going to open them, see them in the bag, see them in the tank and continuously do that till they're all gone and it's midnight. And the first box we have Barbatus, so Corydoras Barbatus. We should have a couple of bags of those guys. I really should take a few more home, but Yes, I do have eight. Um, what else have we got? We have, oh, gold laser Corydoras. And we have gold tiger barbs. And, oh, really nice high fin platies. So, we, oh, there's another bag. More gold lasers. So lots of gold lasers. They are going in tanks. We will go to that and then we'll go to the next box. And the gold laser quarries in a tub still look freaking awesome. These are one of the nicer, easy to get quarries you can get in Australia. Um, yeah, we'll show you them in a tank in a bit, but how nice are they? And the Corydoras Barbatus, awesome, awesome quarries. So sorry to all the people that missed out last week. We now have more, unless I take some home, but I'm gonna try not to take any more home, maybe one or two, but how freaking lovely are they? And the golden tiger barbs. So pretty much um, like an albino version of your normal tiger barbs. Really, really nice fish. Uh, nippy as the normal tiger barbs because they're just a different color morph of a tiger barb. But how lovely are they? Hyphen platies. So a normal platy, but they just have longer fins. So really nice long dorsal fin to them. So you could probably call them shark platies if you want. <laughs> but yeah, really, really nice platies. They will settle in overnight. They've just sort of come out of the bags and just been acclimatized. So on to the next. And that is the gold laser quarries. So haven't colored up yet. So give them a couple of days if there's still any available and they will go a really, really nice orangey sort of color to them. But they are one of the nicer little corridors, schooling like all the other quarries. So you want a group of at least three or six of them, um, but the more the merrier. And I have box number two, but we also had a giant pallet of stuff turn up at closing time because yay, it's Friday night. So I have lots of tanks, lots and lots of things and everything everywhere now. Yes, I do want to get home by midnight, but anyway, um, we have, looks like, oh, goldfish. So we have black moors. They are the black ones with the double tail with the googly eyes. So it looks like we've got a couple of bags of black moors and we have shabunkin. So shabunkin is a motley colored goldfish. Um, Closest thing you can get to a koi without getting a koi in Britain, well, Queensland, because koi are illegal. But yes, shabunkins, oh, some really nice ones in there. They have blues on them and all sorts. So let's pop them in a tank and let's go to another box. And I'm back to filming in a bucket because they kind of look better from above. Um, look like little hammerhead sharks going with the shark theme right now. But yeah, lots and lots of black moors. They are lovely little things, about five centimeters or so, these ones. But yeah, some huge tails on these guys. And the shabunkins in a tank, so all acclimatized. They just need to settle in overnight. But yeah, lots of cool colors with these guys. So they are just a normal goldfish, just a different genetic color mutation of a goldfish. But lots of blues, reds, whites, loveliness. Shabunkin. It is box number three. What have we got in here? Ooh, 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 ooh. How cool is that? That is a Senegal bircher. So African fish, very, very cool. Um, get about 25, 30 centimeters max, maybe 35 if you're lucky. Um, so they don't get huge, but they are lovely little fish. Did I say lovely again? Lovely, lovely fish. Um, I've kept and bred them for years. These ones obviously I didn't breed, but there are a few Senegal birch in here. There is another one. Very awesome fish. So we've got a couple of those available. We have, Oh, red tuxedo guppies. So they are a really nice guppy. Um, yeah, they have the bright red nose, as you can see. There's a few different color varieties in there too. So bright red nose, red tail, red fins, purpley blue body, nice guppies. So lots of those guys available. There might be a couple of bags of them. Um, I have no idea what they are. Mosaic guppies? 
of some type but more nice guppies i think there is should be some blue mosaics ah there they are those are your blue mosaic guppies so obviously haven't colored up because they have been in a dark box but you can see the pattern on them they are pretty lovely so lots of guppies in this box black coolie loaches so we have them back in stock they are huge 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 so peaceful catfish great for community tanks and stuff there is another bag jumbo coolie loaches so they are monstrous things these are probably like maybe eight centimeters ten centimeters max they are huge um yes so we have them back in stock for all the people that missed out last week looks like more goldfish we have some red cap fanders fanders they're not arandas they're fans red cap fans <laughs> wow it's getting late i want to go home and i still have hundreds of boxes to do but that's okay more red cap fans so they're actually really nice no i don't want to take any of those home but we will get these into tanks show you that and then on to another box and sorry but the coolie loaches are in tubs because they're really hard to film in a tank uh, but if you check out the last video i posted there is coolie loaches in a tank but yeah they are super wiggly super awesome slightly different species not a different color morph but they both are peaceful and wiggly how good are they peaceful community tank fish red cap fans from above under the annoying led light which is kind of flickering so sorry about the flickering <laughs> but yeah they also look a lot better from above but those are the red cap fan tails let's move to the guppies and there are the red tuxedo guppies they are really nice guppies so yeah a little bit easier to see in the tank sorry about the reflections in that but really 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 nice guppies uh, if we move along here we have the mosaic guppies there are a lot of mosaic guppies so look how nice some of these tails are it's really hard to focus i'm sorry but we also have tons and tons in here so more guppies and if we move along all the way over to here more guppies again so i'm not too sure if these are the dragon or the what are the other ones dragon or tiger mosaic but they're mosaic guppies so mosaic guppies and we have lots of local bred guppies too which are really, really nice. So it's good timing if you want nice male guppies. We have probably about four or 500 in stock right now. Really nice guppies. How many times can I say really nice? A lot. Really nice guppies. And that is a Senegal Bircher. Really nice fish. How cool is that? Um, pretty much prehistoric looking. Look at their little flappy flaps. Really, really cool. But yes, two available currently. We can get more in. Um, they're not terribly cheap, so because you can't import them into Australia, look how cute that is. Um, but because you can't import them into Australia, you're looking at around about $250 for a bircher. But they're worth it. They like to flap. I'm probably going to leave it at that in this video, but I still have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of fish to unpack. Um, not entirely sure what's in here, but we are going to do another video. So the link will be just up here somewhere very, very soon. But if you like this video, click the thumbs up, all that wonderful stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.